Um, we are pursuing the Smart Mobility Transportation Master Plan. In fact, uh, we're, we're now in the process of negotiating with um, a big group, a conglomeration, for a Smart Mobility and Transportation. What do you mean by Smart Mobility? The biggest problem in the city of Baguio is traffic. And of course, uh, we have also a big problem on on uh, efficiency of our public transport system. Not necessarily, but, but more on taxis and and uh, jeepneys. Now, we for the past uh, six months, we were, we installed a proof of concept in the city of Bali, starting in January until uh, today. And for the first four months, we were able to gather them on a daily basis. It turned out that based on demographics, demographics of vehicles flying our, our road networks daily, it turned out that four, only 4% four are actually buses and vans public. 16% are motorcycles. Every day, yeah, every day. 16, I'll say. 30 percent are <coughs> private vehicles. And this is quite a problem. 42 percent are taxis. And only 8 percent, which is jeepneys, comprise only 8 percent of the total number of vehicles. The fly or road network everywhere. And that was an expansion. The first thing that I did was to get in touch with the LPFRT. What was the basis for the issue of franchises for taxis? Because the people have to get silence for this. They said, sir, uh, we, we don't have the answer that is a common study. We basically have the population. Which is not the right thing to do. It should be based on, it should be that way. Now, this, this system allows us to really uh, determine and generate the right analytics for us to be able to come up with the right combination. That part of taxis should be lower than JPEG. This is the part of the task because of the, uh, it's a mass transport system. So, I'm um, sorry to say the FRB is uh, export. Uh, let us not avoid renewing franchises or terminating taxis. Instead, let us increase the uh, franchises of jeepneys uh, uh, instead. But modern, modernized jeepneys. In fact, we're bringing in. Uh, two electric vehicles, at siguro darating yan in the next two weeks and three weeks. Kaya pinagawa na lang yung design. Because we're changing the design of this uh, 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 electric vehicle that changed this 24 passenger capacity. Kailangan rin natin yung big party design. So, Is it a minibus? Minibus? Some sort of a minibus. Some sort of a minibus. But more of a... A different design. Para na hindi tayo yung mga bago model na hindi ko natin na build for you. You're safe, you're safe. So, this part of the transportation has five components. And this will be updated by all of the ST engineering at Singapore. So, ST is managing and implementing and designing the transportation, smart mobility transportation plan of uh, Singapore and in partnership with FPT, Metro Pacific Progress, which owns NDX. So, as a negotiation stage, I think we should be working on it. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish everything by December for the first part of next year's implementation. So, it has five components. What is the artificial intelligence management traffic system? Everything will be managed by the artificial intelligence. Second is uh, public transport management. What you see in, if you go to Singapore, 
each of those public transport pero mga devices na nakalagay ito. Lahat ng malalagyan. Ang agilities, ang taxi. Then, ang parking management. So, isa na lang ang parking management. So, if you leave Bad, if you leave Manila, all you to do is uh, go over the office. And then you can make your reservation. But of course, your public transport, uh, public parking management entails the construction of about 28 parking buildings. Because we have to generate about 40,000, minimum 40,000 public parking slots in the city. Right now, based on our latest inventory, we only have 2,700 public parking slots in the entire city of It's a huge problem. Uh, it was only designed for 15,000 people. And, and in fact, for in terms of inhabitants, it was only designed for about 30,000 inhabitants. Now, our total population is around 378. This is a, this is a, we uh, base it on the 2022 uh, census of 260,000 with a population growth of 1.54%. Then our, our, uh, uh, our estimate for 2020 is we have about 378,000 inhabitants present, but our floating population is about 650,000. And the number of vehicles now in the city of registered in the city of Baku is 56,000, 2022 uh, LTO data. Out of the 56,000, 15,000 are actually motorcycles. So 41,000 vehicles registered in the city of Baku. Excluding the vehicles that will be brought in by Visitor, we expect this year that we're going to surpass the 2 million. In fact, we're expecting 2.5 million this year. Last year was 1.7 million. Now, 2.5 visitor. And that would translate to about 430 to about 450,000 vehicles every cars every year. 